Hi everyone. In this video, I will show how to calculate the current in simple diode circuits using the diode equation. The method is also referred to as precise method. The current has an exponential relationship with the voltage, which is a nonlinear function. In previous videos, I have shown how to calculate the current assuming an ideal diode using the constant voltage model or using the piecewise linear model. In all of these methods, we use some approximations. Here, I will show how to calculate the exact current without any approximation. We have the diode equation which has two unknown parameters, ID and VD. So we need another equation. The second equation is the circuit equation, writing a KVL in the loop. So we have a set of two simultaneous equations from which we can find the two unknown values ID and VD. However, one of the equations in, is nonlinear and the set does not have any analytical solution. They can be solved by numerical methods. There are various numerical methods or algorithms. Here I use a method called trial and error. As its name implies, we try a value for ID or VD, just a guess use it in one of the equations and find the second parameter. Use the calculated parameter in the second equation to find the first parameter. Now we can compare the calculated value with our initial guess to see how different they are. Based on this difference or error, we adjust our guess and repeat the procedure until the error becomes very small. As the initial guess, we can choose ID or VD, and we can use any value we want. However, we can reach to the final value quicker if we have a reasonable guess. Here I have guessed a value of 2.5 mA for ID. I have calculated this value assuming an ideal diode. It is a short circuit. So the current is simply 5 volts divided by 2 kilo ohms or 2.5 milliamps. Then I use this value of ID in equation 1, the diode equation, and find the diode voltage of 0.622 volts. You can choose uh, how many significant digit, uh, digits uh, you want uh, after the decimal point, depending on the accuracy you want. I have used three digits. Then I have applied the value of ID into equation two and have found the value of ID, which is slightly smaller than uh, my initial guess, with error of 0.311 milliamps. So we know that the exact value is smaller than my initial guess. As a second guess, I use 2.1 milliamp and do the calculations the same way. The calculated ca current is 2.22 milliamps, which is larger than my guess, and because of that, we have a negative error. There are methods to find the next trial value, but I will not go through them and just guess a value for the next iteration, something between 2.1 and 2.2 milliamps. The error has become smaller. For the next guess, I chose 2.2 milliamps. As you can see, the value of VD and ID are unchanged within three significant digits uh, after the decimal point. So it's done. The error is 0 0.009 milliamps, less than 1%. I do two more iterations to reduce the error. 
Using this method, I have calculated the precise values for ID and VD by three digits after this decimal point. When we use the precise method, obviously when we want to have the precise values of the diode voltage and current. In diode circuits, we usually don't need that much accuracy and a more simplified method like constant voltage would be enough. However, this method is very useful in devices which don't have a simple model and the voltage and current cannot be easily guessed. The technique is usually used in calculations by computer programming or simulation. Is the method really precise? It can be very precise if we know the exact values of the parameters, here IS and eta. We know that the ideal factor eta uh, varies with current. To have a precise calculations, we need to know the value of eta in the region. The method is the basis of the models in advanced simulation software. Thank you for watching.